welcome to my laboratory. This is just a quick update of the micro quig. Um, and uh, right now, um, that's the input parameters. This battery is going dead. Uh, but that's what it's putting out. And here I have the TK transverter, uh, which you've seen in the previous video. Um, and I've added the DC output section to, to it. There's the little electrolytic capacitor, that's a 330 microfarad cap, and a, an ultra-fast uh, UF4007 rectifier diode in there. And uh, then uh, from that I have uh, this little motor out of a blow dryer uh, with its little fan on there hooked up uh, to the... Oops! Cut! All right, after a disaster recovery there, we've got the, the uh, transverter with its DC output and the little uh, fan motor out of the blow dryer, and hopefully it won't fall off this time. So, um, take, the, take the transverter and put it up into the position. And I guess you can see that the fan is uh, it's blowing. Okay, so this is the first time that you have seen a motor running off of the output of a QEG, right? So we're only hours away, maybe just seconds away, minutes away from self-looping. All I have to do now is hook this up to a generator and have it power the QEG, right? And uh, look at this, I got a, an excellent motor control system out of this. Fully variable speed control. And of course the light's still on and the other dudes are still on. There's no battery in there, people. Alright, now I've made some uh, better measurements of the power in the loop using uh, the trusty uh, rusty ohmite non-inductive current UN resistor stack. 0.25 ohms stuck up in there, and uh, the next screen will show you what those measurements are. Thank you for watching.